Hello folks, Fat Guy Flies RC. Out here at beautiful Avon Park, Florida. At the Avon Park Aero Models Association, we're gonna take up the HSD Jets Sky uh, Cessna 182. All right, we got right aileron, left aileron, up elevator, down elevator, right rudder, left rudder. All right, there is no wind to speak of. So, since there's no wind, I don't want to take off into the sun. Don't want to be temporarily blinded. So we're going to take off this way. Yeah, she almost. Needs a little left elevator, aileron. Yeah. And a little bit of down elevator. It's like she's uh, wanting to climb on me. Now she seems fine. Come in a little too hot for my comfort. Just trying to get her trimmed out. Nope, I gotta make my approach a little differently than that. You know, I think I'm gonna make my approach with no flaps. There we go. Pull my butt out of my head, or pull my butt out of my brain. There we go. I seem to be suffering from anal and cranial inversion, and that's never a good thing. All right, let's try takeoff flaps here. Yeah. There we go. Flies, believe it or not, an awful lot like my FMS Sky Trainer 182, but just a whole lot bigger. Just a whole lot bigger. All right, let's take her off. Now we're gonna do some grass ops. There, grass ops. She took off on the grass. Now let's get her turned around here. Landing flaps. And we're gonna land her in the grass. This time I got landing flaps in. Flaps. Hold on, I'm coming in just a little too hot here. Just a little too hot for my comfort. Let's get her a little further out. Get her turned around here. Landing flaps. Now. There you go. Flaps Let's get her taxied around on grass. Three minutes. All right. 
Gonna do take off flaps on the grass. And as you can see, this grass is she's getting light on me. There you go. Okay. This time we're going to land in the grass. A little hot, but that's okay. She slows right down pretty good. Oh, yeah. No problem. So if you guys are wanting this plane, and that was a fairly hot landing with no grass, with no flaps at all. You know, now I balance that prop. But yet still, she sounds like she's making an awful lot of noise. Trying to bleed off some speed here. Flare a little bit at the end. There you go. Man, this thing's made for grass. Absolutely made for grass. Of course, now your skirts are going to get completely green. So... And now I will tell you, them back skirts, they just bolt on. You can take them off no problem. But that front skirt, you got to completely disassemble the whole front end of that front gear in order to get that skirt off. I, I mean, I didn't even try, but from just glancing at it, I could tell that, yeah, you're going to have to, you're going to have to do some work to expose just the wheel. Yeah. What a sweet flying bird for such a big bird, you know. Landing flaps. Now land with landing flaps this time. Oh yeah. Flaps up. Well, I think I have more than proven that this thing does well on grass. Well, she is a trainer after all. Yeah, she is a trainer, after all. Time remaining, one minute. Oh, and just so you know, she's got Landing no kind of uh, stabilization or anything like that to help her. Uh, just an AR-620 and that's it. Gonna go on the grass, but that's fine. Doesn't hurt her any. I should have landed a little further back. Still got a minute. So. All right, landing this time. No flaps. There, that's perfect. No flaps. Whoa, hey. Got 30 seconds, so let's. Yes, I know. And just so you know, that was on a six minute timer. China Hobby uh, 4000. Take off flaps. 
Our China Hobby's 5,000. All the way forward, along with the little 2S battery that runs the servos and the lights and all that. Ten, I'll, nine, and I'll show you where that's at. Eight. What a sweet flying plane. Man, I'm so impressed with this plane. Flaps up. Motor off. Motor off. Okay. Let's put our... And you, you can see how beautiful this plane is. I mean, look at the lights. Uh, it's just a beautiful plane. It's just an absolutely beautiful plane. All right, we're going to take our hatch off, which is... And you can see where I've got the 5,000. And then right beside it is that little two-cell... Um, uh, I think it's a 3,000 milliamp battery to run the servos, the receiver, and the, the brain box and all that. Let's see what kind of... <laughs> Still got 58% after a full six-minute flight. So, hey, <laughs> can't complain there. Let's see how much life I've got left in my little two-cell battery that ran that... Um, it ran the uh, servos and the lights and the receiver and everything for that full six minutes. See how much life I've got left in that. Okay. 94%. <laughs> okay. So what that tells you is you can come out to the flying field. Okay. Bring you four 5,000 batteries, 5,000 uh, cell, uh, six cell batteries. And you could run this thing five flights and all of the and that battery for the servos a little two cell will be the 3000 will be sufficient for all four of those flights and a good six seven minutes you could get out of each of those five thousand that's all the way forward she seems to balance right and uh i'm happy with her folks this is a great plane very stable fun to fly now i didn't get up there and do any aerobatics or anything but i'll tell you for a nice relaxing Fun to fly, just good plane. This is it. All right, folks, y'all have a good and Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget, faith, family, and friends, them planes. And all four of them buddies in there. Bye-bye.